guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this makeup look right here. So before I start, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below or on top. I don't know where it's at. And also, I would love it if you guys hit that bell right next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified every time I post a video, which is not very often. So at least you'll see it whenever it's up. I'm going to be talking to you guys about um, upcoming videos and why I haven't made a video in a million years. So, yeah. So basically, last in my last video, I was still in high school. I'm in college now. Just finished my first week. It was it was crazy. I've never studied so much in my all four years of high school. So, that's great. And another big thing, I will be incorporating fitness and nutrition videos on this channel. I did like a poll on Twitter to see if people wanted to see more beauty videos, more fitness, or both. And I got the most votes for both. And that made me so happy because I know it may not look like I know a lot about nutrition or fitness, but I actually do. Because I, I never post anything about it, but um, I actually know a lot about losing weight. But yeah, I don't want to get too much into fitness and stuff like that, but I do want you guys to know that I know a lot that I think could help you guys and ways to get motivated and stuff like that so stay tuned if you are interested in learning about that so yeah. so that's really all I wanted to say um this look um I don't know I'm going out tonight um but this kind of looks like something I would wear to the club or wear on a night out I don't know uh but yeah if you guys want to know how to do this makeup look then keep watching so tonight I'm going to a party for the fight with McGregor and um Mayweather, whatever his freaking name is. I don't know. I don't watch that. But any reason to throw a party, am I right? So first you want to do is moisturize your lips and your face. I just use regular chapstick. I'm not bougie. I don't buy that like $6 chapstick. This shit is like 99 cents. So when I moisturize, if you guys would like to see an in-depth skincare routine, comment below because my skin's been okay lately. Um, to moisturize, I use the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E. I know this is not face lotion, but you know, it works for me and whatever. It is super thick and I don't know. I love the smell of it. A lot of people don't. And all I use is like that much. Um, the most dry part of my face is like this area. I like to moisturize. Like I moisturized like 20 minutes ago, but I'm moisturizing again before I prime. Because I find that that gives me the best results. So for primer, I'm using the Caress Greek Yogurt Smoothie Hydrating Base. This stuff is amazing. It's $42 at Sephora. I know that's pretty expensive. But if you have dry skin, this stuff is awesome. So after that, I'm going to spray my face with the Mario Badesco Facial Spray. This one is the rose water one. I know they have a green one. But um, for foundation, I'm going to be using the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Santa Fe. Dude, this foundation saved my life. It's super buildable. Like, oh my god. And the coverage is insane. Clip this back because they blow dried it today, which I never do. It's like all up in my face. Oh my god. My nail just fell off. I don't even know where it went. I don't feel like gluing it back on, so this is how I'm going to look for the rest of my video. So I'm going to be using a beauty blender. Just watch. You see that coverage? Oh, yes. Or oh, like, it's insane. Like, I'll do one cheek and show you guys how ugly I really am. And I get so many compliments on my skin when I wear this one. I'm like, don't be fooled. Like, do you see the difference? Oh, look, I forgot to do my neck. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go in with my new favorite concealer. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW15. So I just use it for my eyelids. I love this stuff because um, it is this so buildable. Like, literally, I use the smallest amount. Like, I'll literally wipe the lid right now and that's enough. Like, I'm not, okay, maybe I lied. But, oh, look, now I don't have a nail in this finger so I can blend better <laughs> next I'm gonna use the airspun 
face powder to set thy face. I would be using a flat brush to pack it on. I love applying my powders with this brush. I will never switch it. Got this brush from Ross. It was like three dollars. Like get, get it out of here. Get out of here. So this is what you do. And then when I get to my eyes, I always make sure that it's not creased. Like I don't know if you guys can look can see it. My eyes creased right now, and then right when I'm done, I just sit my eyeball. So next, I'm going to put powder beneath my eyeballs. So when I do my eyeshadow, if there's any fallout, then I could just simply wipe it away. Oh god. Okay, so my camera like stopped recording. I don't know why. Like nothing even popped up. So far, I just did two shades on my lid. Um, I'm using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. So for the transition shade, I used the shade Creamsicle, which is the shade right here. And then for the the tra the other transition shade, I don't know, I used the shade Hunts, which is the shade right here. Um, and so far, that's really all I did. I'm going to make it a little bit darker on the outer corner. I'm going to go in with the shade Mocha, which is the shade right here. So I'm going to go in with a flat sided brush, just anything that will get like kind of like a cre cut crease kind of look. Um, and for that I'm going to go in with the shade Faint, which is a light pink. So I'm going to go in with this brush. I always use this brush to dust off my fallout and stuff. Moving on to my lower lash line, basically just going to take all the colors I put on my lid and put them on my lower lash line. And I love uh, applying my lower lash line, line, lower lash line eyeshadow with this Anastasia brush. I'm going to go cream to go first. Because if you put um, dark colors before you put light colors, or if you just put dark colors without any light colors, it won't look as blended. So for lashes today, I'm using the House of Lashes in the style Natalie. This is what they look like. I've never used another brand of lashes other than Kiss or Slum Perfect, the cheaper ones. I'm going to show you guys how I put on lashes because I find a lot of videos on putting on lashes are like so unuse, so unhelpful. Um, so I'm going to be using the Eyelore, um Lash Glue. I like this because it... It's white, but it dries black or dries clear. I don't even know. But, um, yeah. So I highly recommend that you get, like, a small, tiny mirror. And tweezers. I recommend you don't use your fingers because I like to wait 40 seconds. Because if you put it on right away, um, it'll slide around and it'll be ten times harder to put on. This looks beautiful. Wow. I'm going to just put the other lash on. I'm going to do it on camera because I don't feel like turning my camera off. <laughs> to wait like 40 seconds because it makes it so much easier. Because then if you put it on right when it's tacky, it'll stick right away and it'll make it 10 times easier to apply. So, because if you put it on right when you put the glue, it's going to slide around. It's going to be a slippery slide on your eyelid. It's going to be very, very hard to put on. So I highly recommend that you wait 40 to 30 seconds. I know that the, the, there's a difference between bronzing and contouring. Contouring is like deeper and darker. If that makes any sense. I don't know. Um, but for... Contouring, I don't know. I like to use this Sonia Kajuk brush. It is a travel brush, obviously. But I have yet found a brush, or I have yet bought a brush, I must say, um, that actually freaking has a handle. So I, I like this because it gets really sharp in, in there. <laughs> and I'm going to use the Hula Bronzer, my benefit.
Next, I'm going to take the Morphe R7 brush. And I'm just going to look super bronzy and tan today. I feel like my eyes are wearing a hat or something with these lashes, man. Don't want to forget the neck. And your entire chest because you're pale as heck. I'm trying not to curse on here because I've realized a lot of viewers on here are children. Uh, who's my brush? Where's my brush? Hello, my brush. Where are you? I'm going to use this Lisa Frank brush that I got on my Ipsy bag. I did not order this off of lisafrank.com. This is the American Beauty Bush. I don't even, I've never heard of this brand. Oh my god, I forgot to do my eyebrows. <laughs> I'm going to be using the shade Faint in the Naked Basics palette. And I'm going to be feeling my brows in brown because my hair is brown and blonde. And um, a tip would be if your hair is two different shades, you always want to go the darker shade. Because why would I make my brows blonde as fuck? So, got to give yourself an arch like so. So, for my highlighter today, I'm going to be using the Bic Bright Liner Fluorescent Highlighter. Hmm. <laughs> Look at that shit. Look at it. My damp beauty blender, and I like pack it in. I don't know why, but like it makes the biggest difference, and I like the way it looks. So, yeah. So, for lips today, I am going to use my Huda beauty contour set these are new at sephora sephora is expanding their huda beauty line thank you jesus okay so i lined my lips and now i look like a 1998 soccer mom <laughs> that's it um and then last but not least, you gotta finish off with setting spray. And if you're broke like me, I'm just going with the Mario Badesco setting spray. It's not even setting spray, it's just facial spray, but you know. Okay, so that's it for today's makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. So yeah, comment below any other video ideas you have relating beauty or fitness maybe <laughs> yeah so follow me on all my social media it'll be in the description so yeah i'll see you guys whenever my next video happens so yeah see you later